Hello, this is Daniel from Samdance Couch. In this video, I will show you how I converted my SVS PB1000 Pro subwoofer from 110 volts to 220 volts. I have owned my PB1000 Pro for a while now, running it on the American standard 110 volts. Recently, I moved to a different country and I was facing the problem having to run my 110 volts home electronics in a 220 volts powered country. I took my home entertainment system with me and wrote several companies, like for example LG and Onkyo, if there is a way to just run my devices on a different voltage, which some electronics can just do. Game consoles, for example, like the PS5 or Xbox can run on both 110 volts and 220 volts without a conversion. Other electronics, like TVs or AV surround sound systems, are set in their voltage requirement. I ask if I can have these kinds of electronics at least fixed by a technician. LG pretty much told me to find some local repair shop who would do that for me, which I wasn't able to find in my area. And Onkyo went a step further and told me pretty much to kick rocks and to rebuy my $1500 AV receiver in its 220 volts version. Not really the support I was hoping for and I solved these problems by buying an extra power converter. But when I wrote the company SVS, not only did they have a solution for me, they even sent me a manual on how to do the conversion myself for free. That's what I call great customer support. So let's go ahead and let me show you how quite simple it is to convert the PB1000 Pro subwoofer to a different voltage. This method should also work for any SVS subwoofer featuring the Sledge STA325D amplifier. After disconnecting the subwoofer from power and from my AV receiver, I had to get a 3mm hex key ready to remove 10 screws from the backplate of the subwoofer. The backplate is part of the amplifier and since the subwoofer is causing a lot of vibrations, it is very well mounted in place. The screws are screwed in really well and you need some patience and force to get each of them out of the subwoofer case. You have to be careful not to strip any of the screws. After removing all of the screws, the amplifier didn't come out right away. You can try to use a nail and get a pair of pliers to loosen the backplate. While holding the nail with pliers, you push the head of the nail into one of the screw holes to dislodge the amplifier. I tried this method with different angles and different sizes of nails, but this didn't work for me. The amplifier was just too well embedded into the wood of the subwoofer case. What worked in the end for me was to very carefully grab two of the speaker terminals with both hands and lift the amplifier out of the case. And there it is, the entire amplifier mounted onto the backplate. While lifting it out, you just need to be careful not to rip the attached wires out that lead to the subwoofer speaker. The component that needs to be modified in order for the subwoofer to work at 220 volts is this brown loop cable, also known as a jumper. By pressing the little hook on its side, it is easy to remove the entire jumper with one gentle pull. And that is the whole conversion we needed to do. And just like that, we can put the amplifier back into the subwoofer case and screw all 10 screws back in. The best practice to screw the screws back in is to find a good balance between tightly screwed in, but not too tight either. You don't want any screws to rattle from the subwoofer, but also not to damage the housing from over tightening screws either. And here we go, we just changed the subwoofer from 110 volts to 220 volts. What is left now is to change our power plug itself. 
you can either get a plug adapter for the existing power cable. Or even better, you can just buy a new 220V power cable, which is thankfully a standard power cable and can easily be ordered from online platforms like Amazon. I am glad the conversion was so easy and made it worth it for me to import my beloved subwoofer. If you are in a similar situation, I hope I could give you some ideas how to convert your home electronics and to do research. You never know how easy it is to use your equipment abroad with just a few modifications. But that's it from me today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel if you would like to see more of my videos, cool tech reviews and games. It really helps me to make more content for you in the future. Until then, I will see you next time on Sam Dan's Couch. Sam Dan's Couch. Welcome to Sam Dan's.